Hello, I'm Bridget, the head witch in charge at Bridget Marie Energy Design, where I help entrepreneurs and creatives who are stuck in chaos explore resourceful systems, find new tools, and uncover the truth and joy that's already there. We do this through customized notion systems, rituals, and resources that bring clarity and allow you to get shit done. Now, I'm hoping so much that this recording works. It is Mercury retrograde as I'm recording this, if that means anything to you. But the first time didn't work out at all. So if you're seeing this, that means it worked. I like to take Mercury retrograde as a time to just have the reminder to slow down, review things really well, and to give patience and grace for when things don't go well, don't go your way, get really weird, or get rescheduled. So I feel like this is an excellent time to just take a moment and take those reminders in. So what we're all here for, welcome to my quarterly refresh for Q1 2023 in Notion. I love to mix things up quarterly. It feels like a really good amount of time to remove anything that is feeling stale and to bring in fresh vibes, fresh intentions to focus on in the upcoming few months. So let's dive right in. So the first thing that I do is I tune into myself and I tune into my business and I determine what intention, vibes, energy that I want to call in and focus on for the quarter. So I usually do this by coming up with a few words, phrases, mantras, feelings, images, anything that might convey what I'm going for. And then I also like to choose a color to go along with it. So for this quarter, I chose my brand color, Pumped Up Lime, which I think has a really fun name that we made up to go with it. And I originally was thinking that I was going to go with my blue color, but then that felt to me a little bit too cold and wintry and depressing, to be honest. And I know like we're in winter right now and so that's kind of why I wanted to go with the blue wintry feeling but as I really thought about it my main goal my main focus in anything that I do personal or business is taking care of my mental health and since I'm a person with depression that's not something I want to lean into so I asked myself what I need and what would feel supportive in carrying me through this season And for that, I was like, hell yeah, I need some pumped up vibes. I need anything that is going to be sunshiny kinds of feelings to carry me through while still feeling cozy because it is winter. So taking all of that into consideration, that's why I went with the pumped up lime color. And I also think that it's just really fucking cool to be able to focus on and choose a color as part of my self-care routine. So like, that's just, I think that's just really cool. So let's get into the next part. All right, it's time to choose some images. All right, so what I do is I go into Unsplash and I make an album. And I do this for each quarter. And I like Unsplash because it's royalty-free images. They have a lot of really great images. I also sometimes, since this is a personal space that I'm putting these photos in, I will do a Google search sometimes if I can't find what I want in Unsplash. But um, this is my cute little mood board photo collection for this quarter. So I just look for all of the images that are giving me this vibe that I want to go with and I save them all in here. So these are my Q1 vibes. I got those pumped up limes included. 
So I'm, I'm pretty excited about these images. All right, and then the next step is to put all of these images into Canva, which is what I use to edit my graphics. So I have made a cover banner with a quote on it. And what I like to do is save all of my previous ones and just keep like building on them. So each time I go in, I can see all of the previous ones that I made. And that brings me a lot of joy. So this is the cover image that I made. I also do a cute little mood board collage for each quarter. And this just brings me so much joy. This top one here is my Q1. That's for this quarter. I cannot wait to add it to my dashboard. And these are the previous ones from last year, which I had some good vibes going in these. I'm really glad that I keep them in here because I love, I love to look at them. So those are my cute little collages. And then I also do a, I put a little quote or a word or phrase on top of a photo to add somewhere else on my dashboard. So these are some of my previous ones. Go slowly, let it be easy. Fucking love these, these are great reminders. And so what I did for you was I went ahead and I turned these all into templates in Canva that you can duplicate into your own Canva and make them your own and add them into your own Notion. I've also included some divider banners, which I'm going to show you inside of my dashboard. So you can use any of these if you want them. Check out that link in the description below. And let's go ahead and add them into my dashboard. Okay, so here's my daily dashboard. This is where I go. It's my main hub, my main point of contact for whatever I need to do, business or personal. And so the first thing I'm going to do here is just swap out this cover for my new one. Next, this is what I was talking about, the little dividers. I have a few different sizes of them. This is just an image that I have stretched out to make it full screen to go across the full width of the page. And I don't really swap those out. I like them as kind of like permanent little dividers. So unless I do a really big rehaul of the vibes of everything, I typically keep those around for a little bit longer. So next I'm gonna dump in my new cute little collage. I just go ahead and drag and drop it into the page and then delete the one from before. I love this. All right, now I'm gonna add in my new little quote. And then update some of the other images around the dashboard. I have some other images down here, but I think that I like them for now. So I'm gonna leave them. We'll see. The great thing about Notion and this is that you can change it whenever you want. You can customize it however you want. So if at any time something in here doesn't feel like it is the right feel or the right fit anymore, I can go ahead and just change it whenever I want, which is cool. So here is what the new space looks like. I've got my new cover image, my collage. I'm going to say it again. I love this. I think this is so fun. My new image here and my new little quote. I love it. I love it so, 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 so much. So some other things I like to do in my quarterly refresh are that I like to find new images to swap out for my desktop backgrounds. I'm not going to do that right now because I haven't quite hit the right feel of the photo that I want yet. So I haven't found those yet. So I'm going to keep looking. And then I also like to switch up my background on my iPhone. I have another template in Canva that I use for that. And I like to call that little collage that I make for my iPhone a digital spell. 
which is a concept that I learned about through holisticism. And actually, I think like all of this is a digital spell, really. My, the whole notion space, the background of my computer, it's, it's all a digital spell, right? We're going into it with intention for what you want to call in, what you want to bring into your life and putting it together in that way is a really magical thing. So I love looking at these things under that lens. It makes it a lot more fun, really. And on my phone, I typically do that at a different time than I do these ones on Notion here on the computer because my phone to me is more of a personal space and this on my computer is more of a business with personal stuff integrated into it. So I'm going to do that at another time. If you want to see a video on that, just let me know. And then here in the physical world, I have a whiteboard on the wall next to me, which sorry, you can't see it. That's also another really personal space for me, but I will completely erase it, wipe it down with alcohol. So it's a super crispy, fresh start. But what I have on my whiteboard is I have some of my favorite photos and then I also write on it my weekly affirmation slash mantra or intention that I choose during my weekly review. And if you want to see my weekly review process, I call it my Monday hour one, um, just check out that video. And I also put on the board any other quotes or phrases that I want to remember or focus on throughout the upcoming months. So it's a really positive, supportive, and uplifting space of reminders of what to focus on. So that's my quarterly refresh process. Thank you for hanging out with me today and putting it all together. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you don't like it, just don't worry about it. You don't have to do anything. And if you want to see more videos like this, just comment below what you would like to see, and I'll see you next time.